What's happening, Toga Peeps? Two periods coming at you today with our next episode in my Pokemon uh, Sapphire Nuzlocke Challenge. And our team's shaping up nicely. We've got some pokes, and we're going to head down here to Route 104, where we have already been. But we're going to get a Pokeball. It's always nice to pick up bonus items. And that's all the more we can do down here, so we might as well just go back up here into the woods. And we've already caught our uh, Petalburg Pokemon, which was Shroomish, which uh, one of the comments in the last video was a little bit curious, thinking that I had already uh, caught my Pokemon. But I had encountered a trainer and not wild Pokemon, so I'm pretty sure that makes a difference. By the way, I read the rules it does, and we're just going to run through this. That's going to take way too long. Um, so we've already caught our Pokemon. We don't really need to do any grinding right now, and we're going to run into this guy. And he's looking for something. Ah, uh, we have seen Shroomish. And, oh, great. A douche. It's a Team Aqua member. You, the Devon Researcher. Hand over those papers. Oh no! Aye! Apparently this guy's a little girl. And we have to help him. Yeah, we're gonna protect him. Against the bane of Team Aqua. Great. So we get to fight Team Aqua Grunt. He would like to battle him. He's got Poochiana, which is level 9. So we're gonna... We're gonna know the Poison Sting, see how much damage it does. His tackles aren't going to be doing a lot. So hopefully we can get some poison sting hacks here. That'll be really nice and we can just like harden up and stall the shit out of him. Come on, give us some poison. There we go. That's a good boy. Way to go, Mondo. So now we're going to start hardening up. Just to, uh... Just to build up our defense so his tackles are doing even less. Because we're a beast. So, yeah, we're gonna speed through this. He's gonna howl and raise his defense, which really doesn't matter to me. Sand attack, I could give a shit about. As long as he isn't hurting me, I'm all good with it. He tackles, it does nothing. Our defense is still going up, and we win! Mondo gets a buttload of experience. We defeat the Grunt. You're kidding. Yeah. My, uh, Cascoon just pwned your Puccina's nuts. So... Take some. Grr, you've got some nerve building, Team Aqua. Come and battle me again. Alright. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. Way to suck. Uh, he's going to Rustboro. He'll let us go today. That was not even close. He didn't rob me of these important papers. Alright. I like Great Balls. Of all the ball designs, Great Ball is my favorite of them all. I don't know why. I just like it. Um, now he's talking about stuff. Uh, I think he lost something again. So, um... This might be a battle? No? Yeah, my Pokemon are okay. See how to talk- Oh, thanks for the- Thanks for the news tip. But I think we'll be okay. Another Zigzagoon. Yeah, we're just gonna run from this stupid thing. And we can escape. That's great. Zigzagoon's gonna growl us, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna try and run again. We got away safely. Alright. So here's a bug catcher. And he's got a uh, bug catcher type Pokemon. -ish. So he's a little kid. Ah, uh, coffee. Bug catcher James would like to battle. But he has Ninkata. Which is ground bug. So we're gonna have to. We aren't gonna get the poison hacks this thing. Because it won't be effective. And we're gonna switch Pokemon. And I think all of our Pokemon are weak to Bug-type attacks. And that's wonderful. But we're gonna go into Alejandro, because he may not have Leech Life yet. And if he does, I'm willing to think it's not gonna do a lot of damage. So even though we are at the type disadvantage, we're gonna go with the Absorb because it should do uh, neutral damage. He's gonna harden up, but because Grass... All Grass moves are still... Uh, special in this game. This is before the special physical break. Or split, or whatever you want to call it. 
And that's good. So we're gonna slowly just absorb the crap out of this thing. And he's gonna harden. He's still not using leech life. Oh, there we go, leech life. Wow. And... Oh no! Poor Alejandro. Well, so much for Alejandro. And we're gonna... Oh, balls. Let's go into Pocky and see what Pocky can do. This is not good. At all. And his defense is through the roof. Why didn't I think about that? So that's not good. So we're, uh... Fuck. So we're gonna go into Jamie. And... What moves does Ivy even have? He's got the effects for Impish Nature, which is good. But Absorb and Tackle, yeah, not gonna help us. So we'll go into Jamie. And you can do it, Jamie. He's gonna harden again, and we're just gonna start absorbing. And hopefully we do more than it does to us. So we're gonna absorb, we got super much special attack. Hopefully that is like half. There we go. And he's gonna leech life us, and that does a lot. Hopefully we can win this war. And he doesn't crit us, because if he crits us, that'll be the end of Jamie. Oh, balls. Harden again. Nope, leech life. And we're at 21 health right now. That takes us down to 10, which means it's to an 11. So we're going to absorb and hopefully get like 3 health back. Oh, we're going to take it down, so it doesn't matter. So Nakata goes down. Mondo gets 30 experience. Pocky gets... Everybody gets experience. And we're all weak to bug type attacks. Well, that just didn't freaking suck. And we lost a Pokemon, which makes me super sad. I'm gonna use a potion on Hondo, or Mondo, and on Jamie. And hope that crap doesn't happen again. Stupid bug catcher. So, I'll be found one Ether, which is good good. And this looks like it's gonna be the end of the forest, which I think will take us up into Rustboro where and Oh my god, a slack off. How awesome would that have been to catch? But, rules are rules, and we can't escape. So he's gonna yawn us. That makes me sad face. So please let us run, and we get away safely. So, uh... Yeah, we can't cut those yet, so we're gonna have to come back for that. And, oh, Route 104. And, oh man, there's trainers here, I think. So here's this guy, uh... He likes filling his mouth with seeds and spitting them out fast. Sweet. That's gonna be bullet seed. And we're gonna use that. And we're gonna use bullet seed on... Oh crap, everybody can learn it. Uh... Let's... Let's give it to Ivy. We're gonna need to get Ivy some experience in here, so we're gonna... Switch our Pokemon around. Get Ivy to the front of the party. And get it some experience. Two cherry berries. Yeah, we'll take the cherry berries. I think cherry berries are paralysis. And we got two orange berries, and we'll pick them. And that gives us back our health. Which is good. So, um, I'm going to come up here and talk to these ladies. One of them will give us something. Yeah, what a nice name. No, I don't want to learn about berries, but... So, yeah. So... Oh, she can give us a thing. We should get, like, a whale more peril here or something. Okay. All oh, right, whale more peril. There we go. Not that we're going to use it. I just like collecting the items. Um... Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you told me. Gay. But, uh... Let's go up here. I think there's... Yep, there is an item up here. And Oh, wait. This is a new route. So the first Pokemon we run into, we can catch. And oh my god, what's it gonna be? A worm pole. We have a worm pole. So we're gonna call Species Claws on this one. And run. And see if we can run into something else. More fun. More fun, yeah. So, um... I always check the empty spaces. 
where there isn't grass. Oh my god, a Wingo! I was hoping I'd run into one of these because Wingo is one of my most favoritest Pokemon from this generation. And we're gonna go with the Bullet Seed here. He's gonna Water Gun. It's not gonna be very effective. I don't think it. I hope it doesn't have Wing Attack or Peck. And bullet, se bullet Seed was so fun to watch in this generation and just the fun. Gonna hit twice, three times. Four times. You are a baller, Ivy. So we hit four times. And we're just going to go with Absorb here because I don't want to hit it too hard. And make, like accidentally feign it if it hits five times. Because I really want this Wingull. Because I really like Wingull. Pelipper is one of my favorite Pokemon from this gen. And... Uh... We'll hit it. Uh, we'll hit it with a Tackle and see what happens. He's already... We're at negative two, so they shouldn't do a lot. Yeah, there we go. go. One more tackle. And then we'll hit it with a ball. Not very effective. That's fine. Tackle. Oh, oh god. I thought that was going to kill it. So we're going to throw a Pokeball at it. Go, 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 Wingo! So we get one jiggle, two jiggle. Oh my god! I didn't catch it. What is going on? I don't think I can take you down any farther. Go, Pokeball. Catch it, please. Come on, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah, we caught it. So, Wingle rides updraft from the... Blah, 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 blah. Good to know. So, we got Wingle. And we are going to nickname Wingle. And we are going to name it Betty. Because when you be trolled by a Wingull, you become a butthurt Betty. So there you go. See, exploring the uh, missing grass s s batches spaces reveals a super potion. So go, 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 Ivy. Let's run. We don't need to be battling worm poles. We don't really have anything good to battle them with, and I don't want to get poison sting to death. So, uh... Let's throw a potion onto Betty. Get her health up. And poor Alejandro's just sitting there dead. He's like, you son of a bitch, you let me die. You I thought it said you you farted meat. Bah. Feated to meat, may I ask you for battle? Knock yourself out, lady. So Coffee. Lady Cindy would like to battle. And she's got Zigzagoon, and we got Ivy, and we are severely disadvantaged level-wise, which is not good. Gonna tackle us, not really gonna do a lot. We're gonna start racking on- ooh, critical hit with the Bullet Seed. And, uh, I forgot to toss this out in my last video, but that British douchebag is also doing a walkthrough- well, a Nuzlocke challenge, but he's doing Emerald, and now... Uh, link will be in the description for his channel, because he's a baller. And who else? Um, Sevisar is also doing a emerald type-ish Nuzlocke now, which is good fun. So, I'm going to bullet seed him here. Hopefully this will take him down. Come on, hit him four times. Oh, only two times there. I didn't like that. Oh, and she's going to need a full restore on a level 7 Pokemon. You rich bitch. Why would you do that? And of course it's going to take us forever now. So we hit three times and... Let's go for Bullet Seed again. It tail whips us. And Bullet Seed doesn't do nearly enough. So we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon here. And... Whoa! We'll go into Mondo. Mondo can use some experience. Evenly leveled at this point I think we'll be able to take it down. He's gonna tail whip us, not really worried about it that much. And we're gonna go for the poison sting. He's gonna tackle us, see how much it does. At negative one, that's not bad. Go for the poison sting, hopefully get some nice sexy hacks, but we don't. He's gonna tackle us. Yeah. Should be able to take it out? No, not being able to take it out. And ooh, I don't like these odds. We'll try it anyways. Oh, we survived with two health. Because we're balling. Mondo, level eight. Which is getting us every little bit closer to a uh, Dustox. 
which is going to be awesome. So we're going to have to dump some more potions on our Pokemon. Hopefully we uh, come across the city soon, because we're going to need it. So, yeah, here's another trainer. And we'll see what she has. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, let's battle. Coffee, bring it. I'm not scared. Nice dress, Haley. Or Hallie. Halle Berry, bringing out the low tad. I'm not scared of no low tad. We're gonna go for the bullet seed. He's gonna growl us. Again, it doesn't matter because all grass moves are special in this generation. So we're gonna go for the bullet seed. And we're gonna do abysmal damage with that. So we're gonna speed it up. He's gonna astonish us and flinch us, the whore. So he's... Wow. That was a bunch of times. And we take it down. Goodbye, low tad. Ivy going to level 6 like a baller. Level 7 like a baller. We learned stun spore. Sex. I love status moves. He's gonna go into her... She is gonna go into her own shroomish. And... Let's check a summary here. See if maybe we have Peck? No, just Growling Water Guns. We definitely don't want to go into... Our poor little Betty yet. Brave Nature, which is crap. It's like speed down defense up or something like that. So, no, we don't want Betty. So we're fighting Shroomish. We'll go into Mondo. Because this thing will probably only have, like, Tackle and Grass moves. And we'll Poison Sting the Ball Sack straight off it. Even though it's a female. Because that's how we roll. So Shroomish is going to Tackle. It's going to do virtually nothing. We're going to Poison Sting it. I don't think that qualifies us for a effect spore. So I don't think we'll have to worry about that while we're using the poison sting. So it must be a speed tie. Okay, and we take down that shroomish. Way to go, Mondo. We defeat last Haley. Hallie. With her lovely schoolgirl outfit on. And unfortunately we don't have cut yet, so we're gonna have to keep going forward and oh. Ooh, twins. And for those of you who didn't know, the third generation was when the super much awesome um, double battles. We're gonna. We're just gonna switch. Poor Alejandro. So, oh man. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Most tra uh, twin trainers. You have to uh, initiate the battle by talking to them, because uh, they wouldn't attack you one at a time. So, we have two Grass-type Pokémon, which is not good. So, we're gonna... We're gonna stun spore the C-Dot. And we're just gonna go for a Howl right off the bat. Get our attack raised. And I was gonna use stun spore, which is gonna, uh... Paralyze the C dot, which is excellent. So Lotad's gonna absorb that probably won't do a lot because Lotad's special attack is crap. Wow, that did a lot. Okay, so it's gonna grow three's its special attack here. Not a good thing for us. So we're gonna go for the bullet seed on Lotad, and we're gonna start tackling the C dot. That was a nice chunk of damage. The bullet seed, not gonna do a lot of damage, and it starts to bide. So, we're going to, uh, direct our attacks at Lotad. And Astonish didn't work. So we're gonna keep attacking Lotad. La 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 la. Lotad goes down. Ivy gets some nice experience. Pocky gets some nice experience. Both to level 8. And... Now... We might as well just, uh... Lay the beat down on this C-Dot. And it's gonna harden. How wonderful. So, freaking... Okay, just keep hitting it. There we go. And we defeated G and Mia. Losing upsets you. Aw, so sad. But anyways, we're gonna come up here a little bit farther. Here is a Fisherman. So we're gonna check our Pokemon, see who needs the experience. We're just gonna leave Ivy in. I think. Yeah, everybody else will be pretty good. Mondo, it was... It'll... For, Unfortunately, Mondo, I think, will take forever in a day to freaking... No, pick them. I think it will take Mondo forever in a day to kill a bunch of Magikarps, if even that's what that guy has. 
But you know, you know what? F it. Yeah. Return. No! No, I don't want to play in a barrier. Are you high? So we're going to switch Mondo in. And this lady... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Feel free to take them. Yeah, I'll do that. And she's going to give us a Chesto Berry, so we can rest our Chesto now. Which is nice. Oh, sh shut up, please. So, hey, want to keep a secret? I want to... Oh, you don't know me? No, I don't know you. You must not be that great of an expert. And if you have a bunch of Magikarps, I'm just going to shit in your face. So, Magikarp. So, let's start poison stinging the crap out of this thing. La 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 la. And we got the poison hacks, which is excellent. And we're just going to, uh, not get a lot of experience. And what's he sending in next? Oh, another Magikarp. Imagine that. So maybe by the end of this battle, we will be close to leveling to 9. I don't know what level... Um... No, we're gonna stay in. I don't know what level that, uh, Solcoon and Caspicoon evolve. I'm ashamed to say. But, you know, it's been a long time since i played these games. So we defeat the fishermen, and we still didn't evolve, which makes me sad. But anyways... Awesome water sound. I forgot about that. Uh, sorry, just one of those weird things. I like the water sound. So, ah, Rustboro City. So now we're in Rustboro. Here's Pokemart, which we do need to stock up on some things and stuffs. So, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon first. We're right at the 20 minute mark. Well, actually, just a bit over the 20 minute mark. Uh, yes, please heal my Pokemon. Thank you. And we need to put Alejandro into the graveyard, unfortunately. Deposit Alejandro into the graveyard. Poor Alejandro. Shit in the bed. Well, let's talk to this guy, see what he says. Oh. Yeah. Pokemon personality this is so awesome. So she got cut from somebody. Uh, oh. The kid doesn't understand the difference between male and female Pokemon. Because he apparently hasn't had the sex talk with his parents yet. So he doesn't know what a Wee Wee is. So we're going to buy some uh, potions. Because we definitely need some. Uh, we'll buy five potions. We sure will. We're going to buy... Oh. I think I say five of these, but I don't know if we want that. We'll buy three for now. Because I think there is a uh, gym coming up soon. Rustboro, I believe, has uh, Roxanne, the gym trainer, leader, person. And what's this? This is Cutter's house. Maybe Cutter will give us cut. How's it going? Uh, liber what? What train Pokemon? You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say the word. Thank you, HM1. Yay. Okay, let's reach into our bag, play with our balls, and check out HM1. See if any of our Pokemon can learn it. And of course, our starter can. And we'll teach it Cut, because it's better than uh, Pound. And we can't use it outside of battle yet, because we need the Gym Badge. Uh, trainer? Yeah, I don't care. Oh wait, I think you can battle people in here. Is this the one you get to battle people? No, this guy's just gonna talk and bitch about shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, he gives us a quick claw. And we will drop that on a Pokemon because we can use hacks items in game. Da 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 da. Uh, we will give it. And who ne who's slower and shit? Give it to Ivy. Yay. So, Ivy, I don't think anybody gives us anything. No, these people are all lame. So, we're about to hit the 25 minute mark. So, we are going to, uh... Look for the gym. I mean, it's gotta be here somewhere, right? That's not the gym. Here's a guy. Oh, uh, he's telling us that you gotta have gym badges or your traded Pokemon will hate you. Yeah, uh, no, don't talk to me again, please. So let's come up here. 
Hey, how's it going? Listen, my friend. Yeah, okay. 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 Thanks. Oh, crap. So, apparently, we're going to do our first gym battle in this video. And we've got Youngster Josh. And Youngster Josh has Geodude. And it's level 10. And Geodude is bad news for Mondo. Because we have nothing good to hit it with. So, we're going to switch our Pokemon. And Balls and Mirrors. Let's go into Ivy. So... Geodude is going to tackle, and that's not going to do a lot, and we get effects for, so that's awesome. Hacks for the win. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire off the bullet seeds, and wow, three times was enough to take it down. So Mondo goes to level 9, which is excellent, and Ivy's going to go to level 9, which is excellent. Next, you're just going to send in Geodude, and we will switch our Pokemon. Oh, balls. We're going to send in Betty, see what she can do. What level is this Geodude going to be? Level 8. We might be able to take one attack. Betty's going to go for the Water Gun. And that almost KO'd it. Geodude's just going to tackle us. Wow. That's a lot of damage from a tackle. But we are uh, in the hole by a lot. We get a level 5, which is excellent. Almost to level 6. He's going to send in a Geodude again. And we're going to stay in and probably just switch out to get the experience. But well, this one's only level 6. We could probably take this one down. And Geodude goes down. And Sweaty Betty gets... Sexy much experience. Goes to level 6. Has a ball and special attack. And we defeat Youngster Josh. Yes, I was too good for you, Youngster Josh. I'm sorry, you suck. So, uh... Another Youngster here. So we might as well, uh, peruse our way through the rest of this gym. Since we're already in here, and we got plenty of Pokemon that can just destroy their shit for days. So he has one Pokemon and his Geodude and it's level 11. And I don't know... We're gonna switch our Pokemon. We're gonna send in Ivy again. I don't know if this is the level that it learns Rock Slide. Or not Rock Slide. Uh, rock Throw. I can never remember what level it learns at. And we're just gonna, uh... We're gonna go for the Absorb to get some health back. Sounds like a really good idea. Didn't do a lot, but it will definitely heal all our health back. It's going to mud sport, which isn't going to matter. And now we can go for the bullet seed, which will probably KO, I'm thinking. Going for the bullet seed. Two of those should be enough. Oh yeah, two of those. Finish it off nicely. Geodude goes down. Two times, two times. Mondo, 100 experience. Ivy, 100 experience. And Roxanne will be next. Foxy Roxy. 